We're uh, on the uh, Lac de Bois range here, and uh, we're standing in a really complex topography to my untrained eyes. Can't uh, give us a little sense of uh, what, what's happened here. Well, this topography is what we would refer to as hummocky or gently rolling, but hummocky is the main term we use. And the landscape here are these hummocky piles of sands and gravels that have been deposited as the glacier was melting. So this would be classified as a, a came complex. A came is a just a hummocky pile of, of glacial fluvial uh, parent material. So there's sands and gravels under our feet, uh, very little silt and clay within this landscape. Okay. So, so what kind of parent materials would this lead you to predict here? Okay. So when I have a came complex, the parent material is glacial fluvial. It's sands and gravels that have been deposited by glacial meltwaters as they've been moving off of the ice. In this area here, the glacier was uh, retreating, it was fractured up, there was, there was holes, crevasses, and the sand and gravel got dumped in these holes and crevasses, and the finer textures, silts and clays, were carried out by the meltwaters as they continued on their journey. So you mentioned that uh, you would expect a lot of sand and gravel in this kind of, of landscape, but um, I see a lake behind us here, and I'm kind of wondering why that lake is, is there. The lake that you see behind us was uh, the remnant of this glacier. There was a, a big block of ice sitting there which was protecting the landscape. And so there was an ice block there, all of this other material is deposited around it. So there's more than one layer of parent material here. So as the ice was moving over the landscape, we would have bedrock and then this basal till and then other parent materials get deposited on top. With an ice block being left behind, that ice block would have been embedded in the basal till underneath the glacier and the basal till has a high clay content. So when that ice melted out, there was nowhere for the, any water to collect in that area to drain through because it's not sand and gravel at the base of that lake. Mm -hmm. It's um, a, probably a higher clay content material. Mm -hmm. What's the ecological significance of that lake landscape? Well, on the Lactobog grasslands, we have a lot of these ponds, ice blocks, and these lakes are, by the way, are called kettle lakes or kettle holes. And the Lactobog grassland is a main flyway for a lot of migrating birds. So there's all kinds of duck species that um, uh, nest in these areas. Um, they're all over this grassland. It's very important ecologically for wildlife uh, habitat. What's going to happen to a lake like this with climate change? Well, we've already noted on the lower grasslands that some of these ponds have actually dried up or been completely dry or they may rehydrate a bit. So the expectation would be as it gets warmer, these ponds are going to dry up and we're going to lose our habitat for these uh, various birds and other wildlife species that live in these environments.